Hey guys, Carmen Senga here. And today I wanted to show you how to tag someone when they actually open an email inside Infusionsoft. I know it's been talked a lot about in the group. Uh, and you know, there's some people that says that you can't do it yet and, and all that stuff. You absolutely can do it. Uh, so let me show you how to do it. All right, so let's go into Infusionsoft. And here we see just a basic test campaign. All right, and what I want to do in this test campaign when a person comes in is I want to send them, you know, maybe one email, maybe, you know, a few emails like this, uh, kind of making it like a click sequence or something, uh, but just for the people that open it. All right. So uh, here we have those emails and I want to tag them if they open it. And when they open it, I want to send them one way. And then if they don't open it, I want to send them another way. All right. But how do we get to know if a person opens your email? Well, that's actually quite simple. And we're going to come over here to automation links, all right? And automation links, the way that you would get there is hover over the navigation, click uh, under marketing, click on settings, and then click here on automation links. All right. Now, once we're in the automation links, uh, we're going to go down here to where it says automation links. Now, automation links, you know, a lot of people don't use them anymore because a lot of the, um, you know, functionality is actually built into uh, Campaign Builder now. Uh, but as you can see, you know, there are still lots of automation links <laughs> that, that uh, you know, are, are still used. Uh, so we're going to create an automation link here. All right. And this uh, dialog box will come up. And uh, the, the very first thing that, that I do uh, in naming this is put in the actual campaign uh, uh, ID. And let, let me move that out of the way so I can show you. All right. So here in this campaign, this test campaign, you can see up here, funnel ID 409. All right. So that's what I'm going to utilize first is 409. And then I'm going to put in, you know, whatever sequence that was all right so this one of course is just titled uh untitled sequence but of course i would name it uh something in there so you know test sequence i'll just put and then uh in this case i'm just going to put emails all right if you have if you want to do uh separate ones for each different email uh then you could put that here all right now all this stuff here you don't have to really worry about uh but uh, what I want you to do is click save, not save and close because we still need to work in here, but save. So we're going to click on save and you'll see that now we have an actions tab here. So we're going to click on actions and we're going to click on add new action. And in this particular case, we're going to apply or remove a tag. All right. And here I've already created one called uh, test opened email. All right. We're going to click save. And then here we can actually save and close uh, this now. But before we save and close, I want you to notice something. I want you to notice up here that there is an ID number. All right. And this ID number, this 2883, is something that we want to copy down. All right. So uh, I, I just copied that and uh, I'm going to click save and close. Okay. Now, when we come into our emails, all right, we, we want it to trigger on our email. So if we come into our emails, all right, this is just a basic email template, nothing, you know, special here uh, or anything like that. What we want to actually do is we want to uh, bring in this code, this nice new code uh, uh, block here, and we're going to drag it into, uh, you know, somewhere into our email, all right? And we're going to stick some code in here. Now, let me go ahead and grab the code. If you just give me one second, I am going to put this in the um, in the comments below. All right. So I'm going to stick my code in here. All right. And let, let me actually do this. Let me get rid of all this. And let me stick the code here just so that you can see it. All right. So this is the code that we're going to be putting into this HTML block. All right. And this ID where it says uh, ID, we're going to actually replace that ID with the ID of the automation link. All right. So that automation link ID was 2883. So I'm going to just remove that ID and put in 2883. 
All right. So that is the code that we are going to utilize. All right. Now it's not going to be in here in text. We're going to stick it here in the HTML block. I only did this so that you could see it. All right. This of course would have whatever text that uh, you're going to put in here. You click draft and you see here that it that it kind of shows a little picture, uh, an HTML code. None of this will actually show up uh, when uh, when you deploy the email. All right, and you're going to do that for each of the emails that you have in the sequence. All right, now when a person opens that email, they are going to get tagged with that exact same uh, tag. All right, so if they do open it, they're going to come. They're going to get pulled out of the sequence. All right, they're going to fulfill this goal and they're going to get passed along into this uh, direction. If they don't click on any of these emails, what we want to do is maybe add a timer here for a certain amount of time and then apply a tag that says that they did not click on that uh, on those emails. And then this goal would be the exact same tag that is here that we're applying that they didn't open it all right and then they're going to get uh, pulled into a different direction and that's it really I mean that that that's as simple as it gets it's so easy to do uh, it just you know requires a little bit of thinking you know outside of the box and here we're doing that with uh, automation links so I hope you got something out of this video uh, if you need uh, any assistance or you know have any questions any additional questions uh, don't be afraid to ask uh, just put it in the comments below and uh, I will try and get back with you all right, guys. Bye-bye.